Hi there and welcome to Hyundai Power Equipment. My name's Adrian and today we're going to look at the HYM 460 SP Lawn Mower. So I've emptied out the packaging all onto the bench here. The first thing you'll see is the lawn mower itself with its handle folded on top. A little bit of assembly on that I shall show you shortly. 70 litre grass catching basket. Side discharge flap. The mulching plug for the handle. User manual. A quick start guide. And a Hyundai warranty registration form. Now it is important that you fill in your registration. There are several ways to do it and it's all explained on the form. And that's the contents of your box. Having removed the four bolts, the next step is to bring the handle up and over into position. Now you'll see we have control cables here, so we'll keep the handle in this orientation and fold it up and over into a position somewhere near where we're going to want it. Trying to avoid twisting the cables along the way. Now the bolts go in the upper hole with the bolt on the outside, then a washer, and then the nut. So the bolt through from the outside, through the black metal plate, through the upper hole, on with the washer, on with the nut. And I'll do exactly the same on this side. So through the upper hole, from the outside, then the washer, then the nut. And that's the lower part of the handle assembled. The second step, again without twisting the cables, to bring the upper handle into position, you'll see the two holes in the frame. Bring it down until the holes line up, Feed a bolt in from the outside, through the hole, line up the two holes, on with the washer, on with the nut. I'll give you a close up of the fourth bolt. So just to show you that in detail, I take the bolt from the inside through the hole to the out on with the washer and on with the nut and that's the handle assembly assembled so a final job for assembly of the handle is to pull the pull starter out and put it in its user location here now there's a metal scrolled bracket here we call it a pigtail resembles a pigtail you need to pull the pull starter out and feed it into the pigtail I'll give you a close-up of the pigtail one further note, if you have oil and petrol in the machine um, and obviously whilst doing this you do not want the lawn mower to start, I would recommend that you pull the spark plug cap off. So I'll give you a close up of the pigtail and a close up of how to remove the spark plug cap and to replace it. To remove the spark plug cap, the spark plug cap is located here. To remove it, simply pull on the cap and tuck it to one side. Now the lawnmower is absolutely safe and there's no way it can start. This might also be very useful if you were changing the blade. You don't want to be turning the blade with the spanner and it accidentally start on you. If you remove the spark plug cap, there's no way it can start. To replace the spark plug cap, simply locate it back over the spark plug and push down firmly until you hear a click. And that's how to remove and replace the spark plug cap. The next step is to fill the engine with engine oil. This machine is delivered to you without any oil in the engine, so it's imperative that before you even attempt to start that you put engine oil in it. 
The engine oil is spilled through this dipstick tube here. To remove the dipstick, turn anti-clockwise approx approximately quarter of a turn and you can remove the dipstick. On the bottom of the dipstick you will see, see the letter L, a cross-hatched area and the letter H. H being high, L being low on the oil level. You need to fill up the engine until it comes to the, the level reading is at the bottom of the letter H. You'll use either 1030 or 1540 engine oil and you'll pour it in from a suitable jug or container down to this filler. Now give the oil plenty of time to run out of the tube before you try measuring it with a dipstick and go in gradually with your amount of engine oil. To test the depth, having waited for it all to flow down into the engine, simply put the dipstick down until it comes to a stop, pull it back out and then read your oil level on the bottom of the dipstick. As I say, continue filling it in until you get to just below the letter H on the top line of the cross hatched area. Once it reaches this level, your engine oil is correct. Replace the dipstick, turn clockwise until you reach a stop, check it's in there tight, and that's your oil filled. Next step is to put petrol in your machine. Here's the filler cap and the screws anti-clockwise and it's held in by this plastic tap. Place it to one side, fresh unleaded petrol. I believe this has got a one litre tank so it takes a litre. Do not overfill this tank. Um, you need to leave a gap in the top so about 20 mil below the top of the filler neck is absolutely fine, 20 mil to an inch. Never fuel the lawnmower with the engine running and never fuel it with the engine hot. Allow it to cool down, refuel it, replace the fuel cap, wipe up any spillages and then attempt to start it um, just to avoid any fires. Okay, so using a suitable container, fuel the machine, having fueled it, replace the filler cap, screw clockwise, tighten it firmly and that's the mower filled with fuel. Having assembled the handle, put oil in the machine, put petrol in the machine, now let's show you how to start it. When the engine is absolutely cold, you will need to push this primer bulb three to four times. One, two, three, four. That should be adequate. When the engine is warm and you've been running for a while, you won't need to press the primer. If it's very warm and the machine's been outside, you may only need to push it two to three times. But generally, from a dead cold start, three to four times, and start it as normal. So having primed your lawnmower, to start it, this handle, the front handle at the top, needs to be pulled back. This is the operator present control handle. Basically, it's a kill switch. When it's back, the engine will start, if you release it the engine will stop. So having primed it, pull this handle back and then pull on the pull starter. Once the engine has started, to stop the engine simply release this handle. During operation with the engine running and this handle pulled back, the rear handle is to engage the drive mechanism. Release the rear handle to release the drive mechanism and to stop the lawnmower simply let go altogether and the engine will stop. To fit the mulching plug, simply lift the rear flaps up, place the plug in the hole with the handle in its orientation until you feel a positive click in the bottom. That's the plug fitted. To remove the plug, squeeze on the handle and lift it up and out of the mower. To fit the grass collection basket, you will notice that there are two hooks on the top of the basket. Lift up the rear flap and those two hooks sit on the pegs on the back like so. There are two pegs here, two slots on the basket, sits on the pegs like so. 
and that's the basket fitted. To fit the side discharge flap, simply lift up the cover, you will see the two semicircular hooks on the top of the flap. These go up onto the cover hinge and that's the flap fitted. Removal is simply the reverse and out it comes. So lift up the flap, the two slots fit on the circular hinge and close the cover. That's the side discharge flap fitted. Never place your hands through this gap with the engine running. The rotating blade is in this area. This cover will keep you safe. This mower has a single point height adjuster, which is here. To adjust the height of all four wheels with one movement, pull the handle outwards, and as you can see, next position down, outwards, to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, until you're on the lowest cutting position. So, single point, height adjustment, from top to bottom, easy as that, all four wheels, no spanners needed, nothing like that. For more information on this or any of our other products, visit HyundaiPowerEquipment.co.uk. I've been Adrian and happy mowing.